So, it, March now, 12 months until Brexit Day, and you are saying that the Home Office has not taken a position, never mind the government taking a position, you as Home Secretary have not taken a view on what the immigration proposals or objectives should be in the future partnership. I have provided and will continue to provide the negotiators, the Prime Minister, David Davis, with information that they require in order to take forward their negotiations for the future arrangements. But you're the Home Secretary. Presumably you have to make some decisions about what you think is the best immigration arrangements for the country in the future. Have you really not taken any view at all about what the best immigration objectives should be from the future partnership uh, negotiations? At the moment, my commitment is to make sure that the Prime Minister and David Davis have the information they need to make sure they get the best deal for the UK in any negotiations with the European Union. If there's been no discussion at all, no public discussion, no, dis no decisions made within the Cabinet and no public discussion or parliamentary discussion of immigration, how on earth do you expect to get a consensus around some immigration proposals for the future partnership negotiations? Well, I think there will be plenty of opportunity for discussions uh, as the negotiations go forward. As I've said, the Brexit Secretary is often in front of Parliament. There are often opportunities for Opposition Day debates and statements about subjects to do with the European Union, and I fully expect that to continue. But you will still be doing so without the advice from the MAC, without a white paper, without any... Uh, any proper debate and process. And given that immigration was one of the biggest issues, certainly, that I heard on the doorstep during the referendum campaign, don't you think it's a problem that has been huge debates about customs union, about single market, but no discussion either it appears in the Cabinet or in Parliament or in the country about what future immigration arrangements should be? Now, I think that these negotiations with the European Union have been sequenced in a way that hasn't allowed that debate to take place yet. 